Oh, hello, artists. Since we first met, you have been making some fantabulous pieces of art. And I might add that your willingness to try new things is most impressive. Oh, oh, oh. Well, today we are going to go over the fourth genre of art, portraits. But first, let's review. Follow along with me. The first one, landscapes, still lifes, abstracts, and portraits. Well done. Oh, Sir Arthur. Sir Arthur! Conscience? Is that you speaking to me? Oh, great conscience, what do you want of me? There you are. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Are, are you ready to start, Sir Arthur? Yes, I am. I am ready for my portrait. Portraits, yes, portraits. Artists, we are here today to talk about portraits. Portraits are paintings done of people. They could be done of pets, of large groups of people, and all sorts of different places. But they're usually done from the shoulders up, and today we're going to talk about doing a portrait of one person in particular. Specifically, my rugged, handsome, gorgeous face, yes? Yes, Sir Arthur will be helping us learn our facial proportions. Facial proportions are special rules that artists use to help them know where the eyes, the nose, the lips sit on the human face. They're like invisible lines or rulers that help us know if our pictures look real. Let me show you what I mean. In starting my human face using proportions, I begin with a giant circle. I'm putting this in the upper half of my paper so I have plenty of space for all of my facial features. For the chin, I'm going to draw a giant letter U. I'm going to connect the sides of the letter U to each of the sides of the circle. Now I have a human face. My hand is about the same size as my face. Now I'm getting ready to draw what artists call the line of symmetry. Symmetry is when both sides match. This line isn't really on the face, but I'm going to use it as a pretend ruler to get my proportions, and I'm using a different color. Everything in pink is going to be erased. I'm splitting my face in half with this line. I'm getting ready to put eyes on my face. Eyes sit in the middle of most people's faces. I'm drawing a pretend ruler line again off to the side to help me make sure that my eyes don't get too wonky and stay symmetrical. Remember, symmetrical means that the eyes, the mouth, the ears are in the same place on both sides of my face. Another funny proportion rule about the eyes is that there are five eye spaces across the face. Watch what I'm doing. I'm using my fingers to help me measure five evenly spaced spaces. Two real and three pretend. Look what I mean. Only two of these are going to stay. One, two, three, four, five. Five eye spaces. I'm going to take my darker pink marker and color in the two spaces that are going to stay. Eyes look a lot like footballs or lemons with a little tiny nub for the tear duct. The pupils and irises, or the center part of the eye, are drawn like half circles. I can add eyelashes and eyelids to my eye. Now it's time for the nose. The nose is about halfway between the eyes and the chin. I'm going to draw another line and this is going to be my nose line. I want to make sure that my nose is evenly split across the line of symmetry. Remember, that means half the nose on one side, half the nose on the other. I'm going to draw one big letter U with my Sharpie, with a small little C and a backward C on the other side. That's for the nostrils. The mouth line is halfway between the nose and the chin. Remember, facial features come in all shapes and sizes, so make sure you're looking at your face before you draw lines. I'm going to draw a very, very flat line for the center line of the lips. When I'm ready for the upper and the bottom lip, I'm going to look closely in the mirror to see what I want for my shapes. What am I missing on my face? Oh, ears and eyebrows. Ears start at the eye line and go all the way down to the nose line. When I draw them, I'm going to draw really skinny hot dog shapes because you don't see the whole ear when you're looking at the front of somebody's face. Eyebrows. 
like I said about the lips, come in all shapes and sizes. I'm going to put those in above the eye. Now it's time for the hair. Hair looks so different on so many people. I'm going to draw somebody with really curly short hair. So first I'm going to start by drawing the hairline, which usually goes below and above the, the circle I started when I drew my head. I'm going to go ahead and outline it first, and then I'm going to add the curly details later. There we go. After adding the neck and shoulders, I think it's time we see Sir Arthur's face proportions. Now not everyone's face looks the same, and that's wonderful. So these facial proportions are not going to be a perfect fit for every face, but they're an excellent way to start learning how to draw. I'm going to show you these facial proportions one more time on our fantastic regal portrait model, Sir Arthur. Are you ready to get started? Yes, I am. All right, let's go with the line of symmetry, which divides the face in half. Starting at the top, I'm going to work my way down. And, oh, uh, we have a problem here, Sir Arthur. Is there something on my face? Yeah, you kind of have half your face covered. Oh. I think we need to do a magic trick. Oh, I love magic tricks. Okay. And there we go. Oh, Mrs. N, where's my beard gone? Oh, don't worry. It's it's just part of the trick. It'll be back later, okay? Oh, okay. All right, where were we? Um, ah, yes, the line of symmetry. So the line of symmetry splits the face in half. I'm gonna start at the top, go all the way down, and I'm gonna finish by bringing it all the way down to the chin. There we go. I'm gonna draw a second line of symmetry to show me where the eyes go. This is in the middle of the head. If I were to split this face in two, the eyes would be smack dab in the middle. So I'm gonna draw that second line. Try not to move your eyes, Sir Arthur. That second line all the way across to make a giant letter T across his face. Now it's time for the eyes. How many eyes go across the face, Sir Arthur? Five eyes. That's right. All right, I'm gonna use my fingers to measure. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do that again. Measure it, measure it, mark, mark. All right, time to draw those eyes. Eyes that look a little bit like a lemon, a little bit like a football, and I'm gonna add those in, in between my marks. There we go. Okay, now it's time for the nose line. The nose is halfway between the eyes and the chin right there. I'm going to draw a line right across the face. Try not to move. There we go. The mouth, again, is halfway between the nose and the chin. So I'm going to draw a second line one more time all the way across. And that's going to be where we would draw our mouth. Okay, I think that just about does it. How do you like your portrait, Sir Arthur? It's a bit abstract, but can I have my beard back now, please? Yeah, I think I think we can give Sir Arthur his beard back. Where's okay. mine? There we go. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? I'm I'm ready. All right. I'm ready. And oh. Oh, Mrs. N! Whoops. This is only half my beard! Yeah, I I I can fix it. Okay. I can fix okay. it. Okay. All right. Oh, phew, you're back to your good old beardy self. Oh, Mrs. N, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now that all my hairs are back in their proper place, I must bid you farewell, artists. It has truly been a delight to work with you. Your museums are going to be masterful collections of art. Until next time, ciao.